So the GeForce GTX 1170 is a high-end graphics card from NVIDIA based on the Turing architecture and the 12 nanometer process technology and is set for release in 2018. Okay, so it's very important to note that this is all preliminary information and is subject to change as we get closer to the official launch. Now, the link down in the description will be the best source from us for the latest and most up-to-date information as we move forward. Much like our discussion with the GTX 1180, this is what we know so far. So according to the latest leaks, rumors, and information provided to WCCF Tech, the GeForce GTX 1070 is powered by a 104 class GPU, codenamed GT104, that measures somewhere around 400 millimeters squared. The GTX 1170 would have somewhere around 2688 CUDA cores, a 256-bit DDDR6 memory interface, and 8 to 16 gigabytes of 12 gigabits per second GDDR6, which is slightly slower than an expected GTX 1180. The graphics card is expected to have a core clock of around 1.5 gigahertz and boost somewhere around 1.8. The TDP of the graphics card is unconfirmed to date, but is expected to be somewhere around 140 to 160 watts. The peak FP32 compute performance is expected to be somewhere around 9.75 teflops, depending on how high of a clock speed the graphics card will be able to hit and how often. This puts it somewhere in the same league of the existing GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. So you can expect around 1080 Ti performance, slightly better with aftermarket models, but at a significantly lower power consumption. Now, of course, pricing and release date are the most fluid parts of a, any production launch, so this could definitely change, but we can expect the GTX 1170 to be released sometime this summer, and all leaks and rumors point to a debut uh, around the GTX 1180 around July, so expect the GTX 1170 to be on the shelves the same time or within a couple weeks later in August. In terms of pricing, Whispers say that NVIDIA is looking to charge more for the 1170 compared to the 1070 counterpart, with some sources quoted as saying to expect a price tag of around $499. So, those are just what we know right now. Just like I said before with the 1180, these are not hard, concrete, final numbers, but it'll be interesting to see how things develop as time goes forward, how many of these were accurate, how close they were, and what the final result will be. Now, be quite honest, what we want to hear at this point is what do you expect out of the next generation Volta-based GPUs, or Turing-based rather, of the GeForce GTX series? Do you expect the price to be higher? With, you know, withstanding all of the current pricing situation, things are coming back down. Love to hear what you expect out of it. Do you expect it to be a lot higher, a little higher, somewhere around the same? We'd all like to see lower prices. I know I would. Love to hear your thoughts. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we hope to catch you in the next video.